Staying with the politics and the campaign trail because the NDC vice presidential candidate, Professor Nana Jane Pukwajiman, has appealed to the people of Lipe in the Guan constituency to come out in their numbers on December 7 and vote for the flag bearer of the NDC, John Mahama, to ensure the underdeveloped area receives development. Evelyn Tengma is with the team and joins us with a bit more in relation to what's been transpiring there. Evelyn, talk to us as to what's been happening in Nikpe. It's less than 10 days to the elections and of course campaign is getting heated by the day and the NDC vice presidential candidate Professor Nana Juno Pokwajiman is currently in the OT region from the central region. She is here for a two-day campaign tour in the region and just a few weeks ago we had the national chairman of the NDC Johnson Esiedun Ketia here to campaign um, and of course, we do understand the importance of this region to the NDC. And that is the reason why the party big wigs are here to campaign. And we do know that in 2020 elections, uh, the people of Santo Kofi, Akwafu, Lolobi and Lipe didn't have a representation in parliament. And this time around, what the people are saying is that they are happy that this time around they are going to vote for somebody who will represent them in parliament. They mentioned that they have some developmental challenges in the various communities or in these areas. And they talk about lack of good roads. They talk about lack of potable water. They talk about other infrastructure development in terms of education and health. And so they are happy that this time around, somebody will be there in parliament to lobby for some developmental projects for these communities. And of course, um, Professor Nana Jain Opoku Ajima is asking the people to vote massively for the flag bearer John Dramani Mahama and all the parliamentary candidates so that these social amenities and basic amenities that they are asking for, when the NDC comes to power, they will be able to provide them with all these things. And so basically the message is vote massively for the NDC, vote massively for all the parliamentary candidates so that there will be developments in these areas.